Hi, welcome to Solomon Says, a division of Hebrew Wizards. I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know about being Jewish so that you too can become a wizard. Hi, I've made this board just for you. It's the clothing board or Big God Deem. And it's one of our Hebrew boards in our curriculum of Jewish education. And here we have a sweater, a green sweater. So we would say sweater. I like to encourage the children to use a nice old Jewish accent for this. Sweater, sweater. Now, the color of this sweater, if you remember, is yarok, which is green. Sveder yarok. Here we have a dress, a beautiful dress. The dress is pronounced simla, simla for dress. And here is a red shirt. To say chultza, chultza aduma, which is a red shirt. Remember the word adom means red in Hebrew. And here we have a pair of pants. And we would pronounce this mich nasayim. Mich nasayim. Here's a wonderful hat. And the wizard's wearing this hat to show you how much he loves his hat. This is kova. Kova is hat. Kova. And here's a lovely young girl, a yalda, which means girl in Hebrew. And she's wearing a skirt. Do you like her pretty pink skirt? Chatzait. Chatzait. Means skirt in Hebrew. And here is a pair of sandals. This would be pronounced sandalim. Sounds exactly like it, it does in English. Sandalim. And here this young boy, this yelled, which is boy, who's wearing a hat, is also wearing a pair of orange shorts. Mich nasayim, which is the same as pants. Kitsarim, kitsarim. So mich nasayim, kitsarim are shorts. Shorter pants are mich nasayim, kitsarim. Here are shoes, and you would pronounce this naalayim. Na alayim are shoes. Na alayim. And I really like this word because socks usually are a little stinky and you can think about throwing them in the garbage. Garbayim are socks. Garbayim. Throw your socks in the garbage because they're stinky. Garbayim. So let's play who wants to be a wizard for a second. And you could do lots of different fun games with it. You can practice your colors. You can practice counting to 10 by counting the 10 different clothing items. You can play races with a doll and have different clothes forms so that you can see who can dress the booba, which is a doll faster, compete with each other in teams. But these are wonderful ways to learn how to dress using Hebrew words. So we hope that's been helpful. And thanks for joining Solomon Says. Cause I wanna be a wizard.